Optic Gaming, and they're only a couple kills off. We're on board with Prophecy now. Gunshi is on a tear. He certainly wants this. 20 seconds left to go. Can he pick up one there? Yes, he does with the R870. Prophecy making a case. 15 seconds left now. They're only down by one. Now Gunshi ties it up. Clutch play by Gunshi now. Envious takes the lead by two now. So Envious trying to close it out. Gunshi trying to pick up the kill. Prophecy ties the game and Gunshi wins it. No, it's a tie. Envious and Prophecy pick up one kill in the last split second. What an epic game that was. Gunshi just went on a massive tear for his team. But it from Merc as he fires it in, bursts it right into Gunshi and takes him out. So the R870 is still the choice here for Merc. The shotgun with the laser sight attachment. That laser sight gives him increased hit fire here in Black Ops 2. The only way to modify the statistics and attributes of your weapon are to add attachments. So that laser sight increases the hit fire. And you see Merc being a very, very sneaky player here. Knows that there's a player coming up the stairs and then comes back to take out Shane. What a great job by Merc there. Great heads up play. Increasing the lead for Optic to six now. And now Merc is calling in a He's calling in a care package there, <laughs> and he got challenged by Swanee. He just gave Swanee the just nasty business with that R870, and that care package has dropped down, and it looks like he's going to have a cop copter coming in. It's going to be a stealth helicopter, and he's going to go ahead and place that on the map with his data pack, and now Optic has extended their lead to seven kills. As we take a look here, it looks like Prophecy making another run, however, all on kill streaks. And we're going to swap on about this, David. Yeah, so Karma is definitely running perk 2 greed, so he can have both extreme conditioning and dexterity. All of the, And with Lightweight, this is a guy who clearly wants to move as fast as possible and be as nimble as possible. Yeah, absolutely. So Lightweight is going to increase his movement speed. Extreme conditioning is going to allow him to run a little bit farther and longer. And dexterity is actually going to let him swap weapons faster, climb ladders faster, climb objects faster. So he's definitely going for speed here. And, um, you know, that's the great thing about this is that you're able to customize those perks and your classes to be what you want to be as a player, and that's new in Black Ops 2. It's actually, you know, the very good definition of what the pick 10 in the wild card system is actually about in the first place, Astro. He can configure this way and just put his points to that particular play style. Yeah, and I'm excited to watch him play here. I'm going to stay on board with him. He has the R87. He's got a shotgun. So he's going doubling speed so he can get close, up tight in the faces of his opponent here, and it seems to be working as Karma is 39 and 17 on the board at the moment. So he's doing Doing some work with the shotgun and look at that he's going for some range here he's got three hit markers oh no uh, pulling out the combat <laughs> knife but there you go that's a perfect moment right tell me tell me what just happened right yeah, there. so these guys are so used to being able to swap to their second weapon but if you're gonna use the pick 10 and wild card system to stack up this way he had to sacrifice his gun to be able to do that so yep. he pulls out thinks he's gonna have his pistol in hand but no he's got his knife he does not have a secondary <laughs> weapon equipped yeah that was actually a great moment because that secondary just wasn't there. He used up all his allocation points in the pick 10 for all his other gear to make him faster. And Karma does pull out the RCXD there. That comes back in Black Ops 2. Tell me a little bit about that. There's a little, little RCXD running around the map still. Yeah, you know, that's, a, that's one of these things that we just felt like had to come back into the game. Upgraded that model and its animation and sound for 2025. It's just something that feels totally appropriate for this kind of game. Yeah, and um, you see, you can see the score streaks that Karma has over here. He's got an RCXD. It looks like he has a UAV counter UAV as well. So uh, he's definitely, it, it's, it's a great class.